So we're going to have a look at how to create an assignment. I'm going to use Google Docs because this is probably the easiest way for you to create an assignment. Google Docs is completely free. Um, and I'm going to start off with a title. I'm just going to call this one my assignment. Now, because it is an assignment you're sending to somebody else, what we're going to do is go, go up to the top here, double click, and you'll go into the header. If I pop my name in here, what will happen is that this, my name at the top, will appear on every single page. It's also quite useful to put something like the assignment title or the date, um, completely up to you, but your name is really helpful. Okay, so we've got my assignment and usually there's a couple of tasks in there. So let's have task one, task two. Now, in order for me to make these a little bit clearer, I'm going to put in some text because most assignments, especially in iMedia, we are going to need to have some kind of text to explain what we've done or uh, why we've made some choices. So let's start off in, um, this is the text for my task one. I chose this because now obviously you're going to need to read the client brief make sure that you know what the brief is the assignment so you know what it is that you're writing about task two there we go this is some more text to explain what i've done now so far all we've got is some text on a page and this isn't probably very helpful so I'm going to start off by highlighting the my assignment at the top there. I'm going to come up here where it says normal text and I'm going to turn that into a title. You can see it's gone bigger, but not only has it gone bigger over here on the side in our document outline, you'll see that we've now got some clickable titles to get to the various areas. So task one, there we go, that's a heading. So I'm going to give it a heading one. Now, heading one is the biggest heading and then you can have subheadings inside if you have a really long document. For most assignments, you won't need that. There we go. Both of those tasks have now got headings. Now, usually for the majority of iMedia assignments, you will be asked to produce something, say, in Canva. Um, and in our Canva um, accounts, we might be asked to create something which is um, being, um, say, uh, like a, a a mood board, um, a mind map could be um, a, an extra task where we've been asked to uh, design a timeline or even a visualization diagram. So imagine that I have drawn something. I'm going to go over to Canva um, and download this and then I'm going to insert it into my document. Now, this means that I can then just send in a single document um, without having to upload lots of different image files. So I'm going to go in and see if I can find something that I've done recently. So I was taking some mock-ups um, recently of um, some things that I was trying out on my phone. So this is actually me having a look at Google Lens. I'm going to download this. I'm just going to download one page so you can see what I'm doing. Now, because this is now in my downloads folder, what I can do, say for this was for task one, I'm going to put my cursor here and then I'm going to go to insert image and I could either upload from my computer, upload from my Google Drive, or if I'm actually using Google uh, Docs on, let's say, a tablet or a phone, um, I could take a picture of, uh, of something that I'm creating. So the camera in this case is my webcam. I probably don't want to do that, although you could hold your work up to the webcam. Uh, but if you're using, say, uh, a tablet, you can actually take a photo of a hand-drawn design. Well, in this case, I'm going to upload it from my computer because it's currently in my downloads. So I'm going to go to my downloads folder and I'm going to select that mock-up that I just downloaded and I'm going to click open. Now you can see this is absolutely massive um, and no help whatsoever. So I'm going to click on that picture. 
I'm going to make it smaller. I'm going to just drag the corners until it's a bit smaller. You can see that's now gone up, up there. Might make it even smaller. There we go. And if I want to have something because this one is quite small, it's quite thin, what I might do is to click on here. And if I go to the bottom of the picture, you can see there you've got inline and you've got wrap text. Now, wrap text allows you to put all the text around your images as well. That's not necessary if you really don't want to do that. Um, but it does help because it makes things a little easier to start writing. So I can then put this means that I can add more text around my image for the task. <clears throat> if you wanted to put each task onto a different page so you've separated them nicely, the next thing to do is to pop your cursor before the next title, go to insert, and then what you can do is you can insert at the bottom here go a page break and then that will push it down onto the next page so here I've got task one on my first page I then got task two on my second page and you can see my name is still at the top because I popped it in the header so there's a couple of things that I would expect for each assignment and that is to put everything into a word processed document. A word processed document can mean anything like Microsoft Word, Google Docs, um, pages on Mac, uh, anything that allows you to put in pictures, text and put it all as one document, that's going to help you to create your assignments. And there is a reason for me doing this, because when you start doing your actual coursework, you will be creating the coursework as a single document. So this isn't me being fussy and saying you can't upload too many things to the website. It's actually to do with your coursework. Every assignment all the way through those first 12 weeks, they are giving you the practice and the skills for you to be able to access your coursework assignment, create your coursework documents, and also be able to use all of the tools that will allow you to get the highest possible grade. When we start the coursework, I'm not allowed to assist you. I'm not allowed to give you a template. So all of these assignments are giving you the practice and the skills for you to be able to present your work in a way that the exam board will appreciate them and also um, will want to, uh, to use them. Okay, I hope that helps. Um, when you have completed your assignment, uh, the best thing for you to do to keep it nice and small is to go up here, go to file, and you can go to download, and over here you'll see PDF. That will download the whole thing as a PDF document, which is a lot smaller um, than a document or a Word document. Uh, Google Docs automatically compresses everything for you. So once you've downloaded that, you will be able to upload it to the website. If you find that your, um, your document is just too big and you put everything into a nice PDF, let me know and I will increase the size um, and, uh, and help you out there. Okay. If you have any questions, please do go to the Q&A at the front of the course. You can send me a message and I will answer you um, on your account.